Howdy folks, <clears throat> it's about 9 a.m. on uh, Tuesday, November 2nd, the year 2021. Um, we're going to have the upper cabinets built and the cabinets for in the uh, uh, laundry room, but what I am showing you here is the island. Um, obviously, we have doors yet to make, but I'm going to have the folks from uh, the cabinet shop make the doors and I think the face frames. But what I've done here yesterday is this corner used to um, sort of jog in, come out. There was a post, there's a post inside of here uh, through which I run the electrical and the like. And so it jogged and jogged. And so what I did is I, um, squared it off here to give it more of a traditional type look. Uh, things I have yet to do is I have to put in the floors underneath uh, the prep sink here and the main sink. Sunday, I built this bookcase for the corner. And again, there was about four two by sixes that I had used as a post to hold this corner of the uh, thing up. But I've now got this underneath where the toe kick would be down there. I've got a two by four um, platform that this sits on. Um, and so this will be a nice bookcase. Again, it sort of squared off the front here. Um, I have doors made downstairs, but uh, that'll all get put on in a little bit. Here I have uh, what'll be her bookcase for cookbooks and the like, but you see I have quite a bit of room there, so I'm gonna take off this panel and make it, put on, replace it with a board that's a bit wider. And uh, I'll do that on this corner and over here and then i'll have to put in a different floor and then i'll have provision for shelves this will get blocked off from here to there because that's where my electric runs and the same thing over here from there to there um the other thing i have to do like i had said so I have to put a floor in here and I know how I'm going to work around those pipes and then underneath here because you see this is a short piece and attached I have to put in a, um, a support bar right now I just have a piece of plywood to support that um, so that's on the I do that on weekends or when Aaron isn't around but uh I'll say by Thanksgiving, I'll have all of this done and ready for the cabinet guys. You've maybe heard me talk or write about how I'm uh, building window seats. So here, uh, from that, it'll go in. And then from about where that brace sits, it'll come out all the way over to here so it'll cover these four windows and um, we'll have plywood on the front of this it's actually mahogany plywood it'll get painted white and then there'll be mahogany plywood on the inside of this now what i want to show you is and then there'll be doors or lids that lift up. So this is the, the bones of it, so to speak. And you see this will be attached to these um, braces that I've made. And so this is what a, a brace is gonna look like. Um, it's as high as this. Uh, the face here gets attached to the floor, like down here, and then it gets attached to each brace. Now, 
you'll notice on here I have a bottom, a top that's shorter than the overall distance, and then a short piece. And then I have a short piece and two pieces that are the same height. So the way this is going to work is these braces get attached to the floor down there through that 2x4, but there's no room to attach into the wall. So what I have is I have this slot so that um, we'll be able to um, put a 2x4 in that space all the way across, and then I'll screw through the 2x4 into the wall and uh, be able to have this be very secure. So um, I need to make some more of these. I've got a total of four up here, and I've got one downstairs, and I've got four more to build, and they'll, they'll go along here perhaps even more. Um, but I should get two um, storage spaces there, and over here, you see the corners are always tough. So what I'm going to do is run um, electric and um, have that come up and have an outlet up here. And then we'll put either a lamp in this corner or somehow work in um, uh, stereo speakers. Uh, over here... Under this window, right now our thinking is, we'll bring that top all the way across and we'll have a bookcase here. Um, so uh, that's what we're doing on the bench. As I think about it, uh, I have Wednesday, I'll probably be building the rest of these uh, supports, getting that ready. Uh, maybe even coming up, uh, I've got to uh, get my registers because you see I have one, two, three, and I'll have the fourth over there. I have to get the heat out of that register into a grill in the front. I'll be doing that, um, you know, over uh, Wednesday and probably Friday because Thursday we're canning our sauerkraut, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, you've seen this many, many times, but this is the pergola. It's 30 feet long. The thing that's new is this school bell here. And it may not look like it's very high, but the only way to bang it is coming down the steps, and if you're tall, you can reach it. Uh, what I did, I think two weeks ago, is I put in the dividers in this final bay. Notice how that post, which is an eight by eight, is notched to fit. And then this here, piece of cedar, is from the old cedar siding of the old house, as is all the top cedar all throughout here. Uh, that's the pergola. Um, you know, this whole thing is going to be filled with vines someday. So I made that uh, tra a thresh, um, a trellis. And then I also made a trellis, you can maybe see. It goes underneath here so that the vines by the posts can come up and grow and then ultimately get across here if they get that big. Um, let me see, I think I told you about sauerkraut. Mm -mm. Sauerkraut. Over the lips and past the gums, look out tummy, here it comes. So, seven weeks ago yesterday, or seven weeks ago on Sunday, I cut up a bunch of, I cut up nine big heads of cabbage, almost the size of a basketball and put them in a 15 gallon crock. It probably filled up two thirds of it, so about 10 gallons worth. Uh, there's water and water bags to keep it pressed down. Um, I have a towel, but then Linda put this over because 
it stinks. It's starting to stink. So Linda goes to Green Bay today and returns Thursday more Thursday around noon, and then we're gonna can all the sauerkraut. Uh, this is our. Oh, I wish you could smell that. This is our mudroom. Uh, it really turned out beautiful, I think. Um, thanks for following our progress.